Okay, right, my right? bad. I won't push it. Yeah, we'll just go forward with that. But uh, <laughs> go ahead and read off the other matches that we have coming up. Coming up in winners finals, Skarm versus RDNA, and in losers semifinals, Jinx versus Bulbasaur. All right, we're getting into it. Well, we're already in it. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention to the stream. I'm, I'm supposed to be. A, we, we just missed. I mean, it was a great match that we just saw. We just mad, uh, missed uh, Bulbasaur versus Jet, which, um, if I recall correctly, <laughs> that was actually the grand finals for the drive through tournament, which was where Cyclone got third place. So Bulbasaur and Jet ended up in grand finals head to head while Cyclone did a, ended up getting third at that tournament. So, um... <laughs> Anyways, we've started the uh, the set. Skarm and RDNA going at it. Um, this is a hard matchup. I think it's doable, but I don't think it's a walk in the park for either of them. If if you've got really talented Mega Man or Mario's, um, Skarm playing really smart using the cape. Uh, he was able to. Um, noticed that RDNA was using Leaf Shield in the air earlier. Just yeah. did a little cape, sent uh, RDNA to his death. Using Leaf Shield in the air, it can be very dangerous and leads to SDs frequently. It can be if you're not careful, that's right. But um, both characters are kind of speedy, around the same height. Um, oh, ooh, oh. nice confirm. Large confirm there, that was <clears> easy. <throat> Good stuff. The, the thing is, Mega Man struggles against rushdowns. This, a lot of people might consider this one of his worst matchups. Mario's a really good character to constantly be in Mega Man's face. However, Mega Man uh, is kind of a speedster uh, projectile character and has the speed to keep up with Mario and confuse Mario players who aren't familiar with Mega Man's uh, mission statements. Yeah, movement options and the like. Yeah. And, and RDNA is a creative enough Mega Man to constantly stay fresh and, you know, not give Skarm any hints on what he's trying to do. <clears throat> oh, ooh, we're catching that up smash there. I mean, he's uh, still up an entire stock here. I mean, shoot, I almost forgot. I was like, wait a minute, he's kind of clean right now. That's probably the biggest discrepancy. Mega Man's heavier than Mario. Yeah, he is actually. Oh, did someone else say that? What? Oh, I, I thought. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> Dang, good up. <laughs> I thought you were like reading chat or something. Like someone said, like the opposite. No, no, I, I'm saying like no. Mega Man is heavier than Mario. <laughs> and you are right. That is a very big discrepancy. <laughs> so yeah, and that's really uh, about that. I think that's important to the matchup too. It makes it more fair. Because <laughs> if Mega Man and Mario were the same weight, Mario would steamroll Mega Man. Yeah. It's still in Mario's favor, but I think it makes it a more engaging match, uh, or matchup. Oh, you know? yeah, no, I definitely think so, too. Okay, game one going to RDNA. Uh, Skarm trying to find a costume for Mario, from the looks of it. He's trying to flex with his drip. Are they talking about something? Looks like they're talking yeah, about something. Like might be. Maybe they might want a different stage, potentially. Yeah. Well, it's Skarm's pick. Oh, right. It is. Yeah, maybe he's just really thinking about that costume. You might be right. <laughs> I mean, come on. You gotta look good when you show up for your sets. Of course, especially when you're gonna show out as hard as he's been. He's been doing really good today for himself. But both of these players putting in work. I was surprised that RDNA was seated like, fifth or sixth, because... It's clearly showing. He's at the caliber where he can keep up and get to winner's finals. Oh, yeah. Alright, here we go. Both okay. Up here again. Uh, back to the same stage, it looks like. This is honestly... Knowing RDNA and this matchup, he probably banned Triplats. And I think uh, Small Battlefield is a good... Um, Compromise for both of these characters. Yeah, I definitely think that is huge. Uh, we got some really good 
special on Skarma's part. He's keeping up that pressure that Mario's uh, definitely uh, very proficient at. We're seeing him put it to good work. Good, jo good job reading that roll getup option. And he's uh, prioritizing that for even more percentage. Ooh, and we're gonna see a reversal on that cape there. Followed by a back here. Man, he's got like a... He's got like really high download speed. If you will. Mega Man... M Mega Man can't get out of... Uh... When he's getting bullied, there's not much he can do to kind of stop it from happening. He needs to SDI away from the combos and find his way back to ledge and slowly build his front, you know? Yeah, it was like Mario's already pretty notorious for being able to keep up pressure like that. And then when you put it up with a character who's not good at dealing with pressure all that well, uh, it can be a pretty big mess. Yeah. And, and that's a scary situation too right there. Like, what does Mega Man do uh, in a ledge trap situation? against like Mario who can react pretty well to options and just punish. So you're seeing these kind of questionable recoveries from ledge from RDNA where he's like dropping off the ledge and hopping up, you know? It's hard. It's it's not easy for sure. No, yeah, it can definitely prove pretty difficult on that front. Uh, despite that we do have um, Skarm up a spot, not by the crazy amount. Mario's not like super heavy, so but three couple of hits from Mega Man can probably tie up the stock down. Yeah, Mega Man has generally one option to take a stock early, which is up tilt. And we've actually seen uh, RDNA SD, unfortunately. Yeah, we just saw an SD. Go ahead. Um, we've seen RDNA do a few wild up tilts in neutral that ended up taking the stock. Very risky because uh, up tilt has a lot of end lag. Right. Um, but he seems to be good at calling out Skarm at the moments that count. <laughs> yeah, well, when, when it's most important for him to do so. That, that's, uh, I mean, yeah, it, it, that's like the best time to do it. Because, like, if you get too predictable with that option, then it's just not going to be really available to you. The, the opponent is good at picking up on those sorts of things. Mm hmm. But this is looking like the opposite of what we saw last game. Scar might come out of this with a three stock. If he, if he really, if he feeds for it hard enough, we saw a good block there, but unfortunately a read on that jump option is going to put him down a stock. JB? Nope, I'll put that a stock. Okay, I don't know, sorry. That was, a, that was a technique that you'll see Kamehameha frequently do, that RDNA just implemented, when his opponent is uh, coming back Jumping from spawning, uh, he'll place the, uh, the crash bomb on him. Oh, get like some like early... Uh, well, generally, like, in Smash, when you um, respawn into the game, you have a few frames of invincibility, you know, mm -hmm. and no one can hit you. It won't do anything. Right. Except Crash Bomb sticks, and so you can uh, kind of exploit those moments where your opponent has invincibility and just stick on the Crash Bomb anyways. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I feel like... Um... Like in, like in those types of situations, it's like all you can really do is block, and then at that point, it's a it's a free uh, grab or potentially you know. So, shield. game two going to Skarm. We're now heading into game three on PS2. That's right. RDNA is going to have to do a little bit of soul searching after that second game. Definitely, I would be flustered against Skarm. Yeah. And I, I think Skarm has kind of picked up on Mega Man's weaknesses, knowing that he can't do anything to kind of stop Mario. No, I, it's like, yeah, I, I, we touched on this before, where it's just like, uh, not the greatest disadvantage, and then with Mario being so good in that vantage state. Oh! 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 The hard knuckle coming back at Mega Man and punching himself in the face! I hate that hard knuckle, man. That's, that's one way to go out for sure. One way to <laughs> Rare to be honest, though, from what I've seen. I see that. Well, to be fair, I don't really see too many things, but that's, that's, that's fine. Well. It it happens. It's strange when you see it, dude. Skarm is doing such a good job. I I think he's locked in on what he needs oh to be doing. Oh, we almost saw a ceiling KO. Oh, and another wow. on that. Dang. So it's like that then. Okay. I have 
Nice little Z drop catch back here. <clears throat> that was some good stuff. I've played Skarm several times, and our sets were close, but I've never beaten Skarm. And oh, he, yeah. I think he's always played as Mario too. So I, I sympathize with RDNA's plight right now. Yeah, I mean like RDNA. <clears throat> Uh, as far as I know, I've always been Mega Man in my life. I don't think he's played any character previously. Yeah, RDNA is a Mega Man player. Alright, Skarm backing off. Nice. Not bad. Good jab is gonna put him off uh, stage. Is, is Jab stronger if you use it in the air, or is he stronger on the ground? When it comes to lemons, um, so he, he has two hitboxes. Mega Man has his lemons, which are, you know, lemons. But if he punches you when he does lemons, it's a bigger, it's a stronger hitbox. Yeah, so the closer, the more uh, hitbox he has. Incorrect. Incorrect? Oh. In the, the lemons have the same damage and knockback no matter what the distance is. But if Mega Man himself punches you when he does lemons, it has further and stronger knockback and damage. Okay. So like, literally, when Mega Man does lemons, he lifts his fist to shoot, you know? Yeah, yeah, he does. So There's a hitbox on his fist. When he lifts it. <clears throat> a yeah. That's actually pretty cool. Mm hmm. <clears throat> it's actually kind of a combo move. It's a, it's a pretty good combo move. It combos into itself. Yeah, it literally, I, I've seen that like several times where it just combos into itself. The precursor to uh, like half of Steve's moveset is cool. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> when, when Steve was coming out, a lot of people were like looking at Steve and like, this is really similar I to see, Mega Man. Included, yep. I but, remember watching that footage. But then he came out and everyone's like, wait, no, this is kind of like a Pac-Man character. Between the two, closer to back, you're probably right. Ooh. I'm surprised that RDNA decided to come back here. Yeah, man. I mean, speaking of moves that combo into themselves, that was really close. I mean, it wasn't the first time we saw him get close to taking a stock like that. And we've definitely seen him do that once or twice within this uh, tournament today. So he definitely uh, got the capability to do that. Um, so RDNA should definitely be uh, precautious of that today. I think RDNA is playing this matchup pretty dang well, but in spite of that, like, Skarm knows what Mega Man's capable of, and he's doing a really good job of doing counterplay, you know? Yeah, no, I, I, I... Go ahead. He's definitely on the defensive, you're right. I don't know how much more I can kind of comment on the set. Like, what I'm seeing right now is your optimized both Mega Man and Mario play in this matchup, and Skarm has the advantage. Wait, so there's nothing left to commentate on? That's it? No, right. no, of no, no, course. No, 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 that's all right, that's all right. No, if, there's, if there's nothing left to commentate on, then we'll just cut it here. Uh, we'll be right back. No. <laughs> you know, <laughs> wow, like, okay. Like, leave, like, the rest of like, well, we've gone ahead and we've completed commentary for the rest of the set. Hope you guys enjoy. We'll be right back when this is over. Like, the, the one, <laughs> like, the few things I can think of that RDNA could do to counter Skarm's counter counterplay. Like we're getting several layers deep into this, you know. Is RDNA could stop approaching altogether and just kind of camp. Like right now, he's got the advantage, 200%. Run away, shoot lemons from a distance. We honestly might see that from RDNA. That's that's just how it goes. That's how you go when you play Mega Man. Leaf shield, it's unsafe. What is he doing? I was about to say, like, going, bro. He's still going. At 200%. What is this all about? He's at 226. Okay. As soon as I said it, RDNA switches uh, the game plan. It's time to camp. It is. Time. I don't like Mega Man as a camp character. I don't think RDNA likes it either. Yeah, I'm like, you can do it, but like, do you want to? I feel like, I feel like Mega, Man. Mega Man's one of those characters where it's like... As, as sick as it is, some people have fun <clears> when they're camping others. But I feel like Mega Man is one of those characters where like nobody's enjoying it. Oh, oh, Skarm! What are you talking about? I love playing Mega Man. I no, love no, no, playing no, no. I mean, aggressive, I mean, like specifically, specifically, aggressive like nobody, Mega Man. No, but I was like, specifically, like, nobody's having fun when the Mega Man is camping. 
like you said. Oh, uh, yeah. okay, yeah, but, yeah. You know, Pac Man. Yeah, that's not fun. Yeah, Pac Man can camp people out, and, you know, if the person just likes to do that, then they'll just have a ball. But I feel like Mega Man, when Mega Man is camping, nobody's having fun on either part. That was really tricky gameplay from uh, RDNA. Doing the up air uh, grab cancel of the uh, saw blade. Yeah, that was tricky. Right oh, he's going for it again. Uh oh, he's down a stock at the moment, so we can't get too frisky. He can't camp much either. But he like he has to take the lead. Yeah, he does need to take the saw. There we go. Okay, tied up. RDNA can do it, but he's got to be cautious. Got to rack on this damage. Be really careful about when he picks his fights. That leaf shield is dangerous. Ooh. And that's it. Oh, man. Dang, man. I was hoping. I, I honestly was hoping for the comeback from RDNA. He was fighting really hard. Um, leaf shield is not a good option against Mario. Yeah. I think a lot of people overestimate uh, leaf shield's capacity to like just win sets, you know? Um, it's it is an exploitable move. Yeah, there, there were probably better opportunities that he could have taken there, but he still has another opportunity available to him. You want to know what that is? Tell me. Losers bracket. This man is still in the tournament. He is. He is. I look forward to seeing what he does in the in losers finals.